revealed that 68% of educators that we surveyed didn't believe that governors knew enough about technology to be able to be helpful to their school. Do you think this figure reflects the true situation? Sadly, I think it does. Um, IT is one of those areas of the curriculum that not even all the teaching staff will have, be comfortable with. I think what you need to be careful of is to make sure that governor's lack of understanding is that due to them not understanding because they haven't had the training or they haven't got the interest or because schools aren't allowing them to get involved. I'm sorry, what could we do as a school that would make your day-to-day -day life a lot easier and more enjoyable because I think all teachers sign up because they want to make a difference, they want to teach, um, but the day-to-day the, the -day issues are the ones that get you down. You know, what, why, why is the Wi-Fi crashing all the time? Why uh, certain websites, you know, you go to a maths, a maths website, you find it blocked. So if you did have someone in the governing panel to actually take that out of the head teacher's role, the deputy head teacher's role, or the head of the department to say, right, I'm, I'm on that issue, I'm solving that problem, accountable for it. It could make the running of day-to-day -day life a lot easier. I was in a school that were using iPads in maths, and that's how they're using iPads in maths, building pyramids out of them. <laughs> <laughs> and we had, they, they didn't even have an, they didn't even have a Wi-Fi network. So the, the serious failings of the whole decision-making system. It's really important that governors have the facts, but the more information governors can have from the people on the chalk face, the better it is. That's, that's even better than going on a course. You know, tell me what it's like in our school at the moment. The really interesting area for me is children's own use of technology for their learning. I see so much outstanding practice in primary schools because, in part, it is one class teacher teaching children for their computing lessons, for their maths lessons, for their PE lessons, for everything. In secondary schools where you start going down the subject silo route and people are input, you know, what matters is getting the right number of people getting the right grades in my particular subject, then the opportunities to do lovely cross-curricular projects and use technology in a very creative way across the curriculum, I think, becomes less common.